Hello, teacher. How are you, mister? How's everything? Can you hear me? Um, I'm filtering from a law or working in the company. Really? Yeah, we were missing. Repeat, teacher. Ok, let's see, let's see. Vamos a probar algo. Ayúdeme. Eh, ¿Cómo escucha con este micrófono? Eh, ahorita lo escucho bien. Ok, vamos a ver. Sí, te lo escucho per per perfectamente. Ahora, ¿con este otro? Soy un poco más estéreo. ¿Cuál escucha mejor, el primero o este? Este, quizás el primero, porque este se oye como la huella, como que hubiera una niña o algo, como que grita. Ok, ¿y ahora? Soy el mejor, soy okay. sin sonido ni nada. Ok, perfecto, perfecto. Quiere decir que estamos aislando los otros sonidos. Sí, es que tengo tres micrófonos. Ah, ok. In order to have a, a better one. So, the idea is for everybody to listen better. So, you had a difficult day today, a busy day. Yes, yes. Uh, that uh, happened. And they... I'm fired till from a low on working in the company. Already? Yes. Well, but the good thing is that you have something to do. Yes. Como, como, como explicarlo? Yes. Elaboration. Custom marking. Este, um, okay. If you want, say it to me in Spanish and I will help you to translate it. Okay. Este, un poco cansado por estar entregando muchos costeos de, de lo que de, trabajamos en la empresa. Costeos de tela, entrega de moldes para marcaciones de logos, transfers. Bordados, embroidery. Oh, embroidery. Nice. Yes, a uh, chair, a uh, uh, pants. So, uh, what is specifically your area? Designing or uh, printing? That's design. Design. De design. Design. Correct, design. design. Oh, very interesting. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, sometimes we have a lot to do. A veces hay mucho por hacer. Uh, cool. It's correct. Yeah, I know, I know. I understand you. It's, it's a little bit difficult some days. Some days are harder than others. Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see. Hello, Fausto. Hello, Felicita. Hello. Good night, Andrea. Good evening, remember. Good evening. Good remember. Evening. Good night is when good we evening. are saying bye. Good night, Yes. Good evening. evening. So, good evening, everybody. Let's see. Thank you, Walter. Fausto, good evening. How are you? Teacher. Good evening, teacher. Very well. Okay, great, great. So, tell me, Fausto, how was your day? Walter tells me that his day was horrible. Yes. A lot of work. What about yours? Um, um, I had a to to deliver the order. Oh, really? No sé si lo pronuncié bien. Que... I had to deliver. I had to deliver. I had to deliver. Uh -huh. I had to deliver an order. In the morning. Okay. What about the rest of the day? Easy day or regular? Easy day. Is it a cool? That's nice. Very nice. Thank you, Fausto. Andrea, hello, good Thank evening. You. How are good you? Evening. Fine. Thanks. I, I like it. Andrea always looks relaxed. She's like, yeah, she's hey. no problem. Relax. How was no. your day, Andrea? Uh, easy day. Easy day? Cool. Yeah. Cool. Uh, what did you do? Tell me. Oh, enter information and system, something. Okay. Uh, digiting? 
Digital. Digital information? Cool. Yeah. So that means that you are good with the keyboard. Yeah. You are good with the keyboard. Keyboard, guys, that means uh, teclado. Keyboard. Okay. Key keyboard. I am good with these fingers, these three fingers. These two, I don't use them. Three fingers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'm good with these three. The rest of them, uh, uh, I am bad at it. The problem is that I'm too old. Ya estoy muy viejo. When I, when I start learning how to operate computers, wow, we used some disks uh, like this big. Usábamos aquellos discos flexibles, like this. Mm. When I started working with computers, it was a long while ago. <laughs> in the, it was in the 1990s, en los 90. So eh, that's why I just use these fingers. That's all, that's all for me. Let's see, let's see. Thank you, Andrea. You're welcome. Felicita, good evening. How are you? Hello, Felicita. Can you hear me? Hey. Good evening. Good evening. Teacher. How are you? I'm regular. Regular? Why regular? Come on. <laughs> How was your day? Um, much, much working. A lot of work. A, a lot of work. Reviews. Uh, uh, a lot of taxi. Taxi. Mm. Yeah, that's a bad <laughs> topic. Yeah. In this case, it's not reviewing, it's check. 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 Checking. Checking tax. Check. A lot of taxi. Perfect. Taxes. Taxes. Wow, Checking yeah. Taxi. Taxes is a difficult topic. Yeah. Well, it's good to have... Cansado, you. como se dice? Tired. Tired. Termina cansado. Oh, yes. You end, you end up... You can tell me like this. Look. You can tell me. I end up uh, very tired. I end up very tired. I, am, I end up very tired. Okay. Yeah, I Thank you. Tired. Oh, you're welcome. Nice. It's good when you ask me new words. Excellent. Thank you, Felicita. Thank you. You're welcome. Eliani, welcome. We were missing you yesterday, Eliani. How are you? Are you better? I am sick. Still? I am having a very head check. Headache? Oh. And cough. Oh. <clears throat> That's bad. That's bad. So yes. re relax right now because later you will need to practice. So relax, relax. Thank you. Eliani. Okay. Carla Maria Los Guevara, good evening. How are you? Good, good evening. How are I am good. Okay, excellent, excellent. How was your day? Very ah. busy, very. Oh, really? You have many things to do in your job? Different activities? Uh, yes. Uh, for copies. No sé cómo se dice ani anillados, cosas así. Oh. I know the word, just let me remember. Si sí, conozco la palabra, déjeme acordarme. I have I didn't I haven't used it in a lot of time. My gosh. No lo he usado en muchísimos años. Yeah, but I understand what you mean. So you had a lot of work to do. Tuvo mucho que hacer. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. So let's see. It's rings. Rings. Those are rings. Ring. Uh, ring bone. Ring bone. Eso, ser, eso sería anillado. Yes, ring bone. Uh, that's a weird word. I mean, I, for, actually, I have not used it like in more than 10 years. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> not a very common word. It's nice that you make me remember new, 
new vocabulary for your classmates. Thank you. Okay. Let's see, let's see, somebody's moving here. Helen, good evening. Hi. How are you, Helen? How was your day? Tell me. Very well. Same. Okay. What about activities? A lot of activities to do? Um, just un poco. Just a bit. A bit. Just a bit. Just a bit. Just a bit. That means un poco. Okay, nice, nice. Well, it's good to have you here in class. Thank you, Helen. Let's see, let's see who else is around. Uh, 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 Grecia, good evening, Grecia. How are you? Hi, good evening, mister. So tell me, Grecia, how was your day? Oh, my day is super. In the, in the company, yeah. Uh, in the final days, um, ¿cómo se dice pago? I'm sorry? ¿Cómo diría pago? Pays, payments. Ah, okay. In the company, I am payments, okay. In the company, I am the final days of payment taxes. Oh, yeah, somebody, yeah. somebody told me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ouch. Somebody else told me about uh, taxes here. It was, let's see, who was it? Who told me about taxes? Felicita. Felicity is also working in taxes. So, <laughs> you were very busy today. Yes. You were very busy, a lot of activities, wow. wow. A lot of activities. The good thing is that you are here in class. We are going to do a lot here. We are going to practice a lot. We are going to be making questions and answers. Thank you, Grecia. Okay. Let's see. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Alonso Antonio, good evening. How are you? Hi, good evening. How are you, mister? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, tell me, how was your day? Oh, my day is so busy. Okay, why? Compli complicated. Complicated? Because it was it was day pay. Payday. Payday. Remember, in this case, yes, we say it payday. Okay? Okay. Payday. Oh. Payday. And you are in charge of something like that. Yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so you have to be very careful. Okay, yes. And I imagine that is stressful. A little bit. A little bit. Well, don't worry, don't worry. We are going to get we are going to get rid of the stress here in class. We are <laughs> going to get rid of stress. In class. Okay. We're gonna get rid of stress in class. That means nos vamos a liberar. Okay. We're gonna get rid of stress okay. here in class. Don't worry, don't worry. We have a lot of activity today. So and it's going to be easy, don't worry. Today's class is piece of cake. La clase de hora es facilísima. Yeah, just try to fall asleep because I know that is very easy. Okay. Okay, let's see. So today we are going to be working with questions, answers. Like, let's see, Walter, Walter, please open up your microphone. Okay, Walter, where do you work? Then I, if I ask you, where do you work? I'm asking the name of the company, okay? Where do you work, Walter? Uh, I work... I'm tired. Okay. Because uh, are... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, Walter. If I ask you where, the question is this. Look at the chat. The question is where 
do you work? You see? Where do you work? Donde? Okay? Okay. okay. The name. If I ask you where, I'm asking the location or in this case also be understood. Le pregunto la ubicación o también the name of the company. Okay? okay, it's, the, okay. it's the same as if I ask you what is the name of your company? Right? Okay, okay. So where do you work? When you uh, and you tell me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and you tell me I work for if you tell me I work for and it's uh, trabajo para and then the name, okay? Like in my case, uh, if you ask uh, me, please Walter, ask me. Hágame usted la pregunta a mí. Where do you work? Oh, I work for uh, English Corporativo. You see? Oh, okay. What about you, Walter? Where do you work? I work for it's the company uh, Industrial. Okay. Perfect. And tell me, do you do you work all day long? Trabaja todo el día? Yes. Yes, yes I sir. do. Yes. Remember. Yes, you need to yes. tell me, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. That is the second question. Do you work all day long? Now, Andrea, tell me, where do you work, Andrea? Mm, I work for City Hall, Pasequina La Unión. Oh, okay. Now, you did it perfect in the pronunciation. Okay. Just, you need to turn around. I work at Pasaquinas, La Unión, City Hall. City Hall. The City okay. Hall at the end, okay? Oh, really? I work... Please, okay. tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. I work at uh, Pasaquina, City Hall. Excellent. You do there. ¿Qué hace allí? Oh, digit information. Okay, excellent. Now you told me la unión. Tell yeah. me, Andrea, is it hot there? Uh, Toto. A little bit. No much. No much. No much. Really? Hmm, yeah, because regular. I know that La Unión is hot, terribly <laughs> hot. Yeah, that's why, you know, that part of the country, I don't visit that much because I don't like the hot. I like, I like when it is cold. I love it when it is cold. Mm. Well, thank you, Andrea. Appreciate it. Okay, teacher. Now, Grecia, what about you? Sorry. What about you? Cuando yo les hago la pregunta, what about you? I mean, you still. What about you? Where, uh, where do you work? Oh, my work, uh, the office contable. Yes. I am account. You are an accountant. Okay. Accountant. Okay. I am an accountant. Yes. Accountant? So you are an accountant, contador, yes. right? An auditor. Uh, an auditor. Oh, really? What's the difference? Really? What's the difference? Please tell me. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Mm, um, a ver, ¿cómo decirlo en inglés? El auditor. <laughs> the auditor. Um, revisa el the auditor the check checks okay the auditor um, checks the working the accountant oh, el trabajo okay. del contador the accountants mm -hmm. the accountants work mm -hmm. look at the text the auditor checks the accountant's work. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Grecia. Very interesting. You're welcome, mister. 
Mr. Yeah. Francisco Javier, good evening. How are you, mister? I'm sorry, Francisco. I don't know why always at the beginning we have problems with the microphone because I don't hear you. Yep. Let's see, I'm going to mute you and unmute yourself, please. No. Well, don't worry, don't worry. I know that it always connects later. I don't know why in your case it happens like this. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. I'll, we'll give it time. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. And now, Today, as I told you, we are going to work with a simple present, but we need to make a small review about how many, how much, okay? So let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, don't worry, Francisco. That happens to everybody. It's not, perhaps it's not your internet. In the whole country right now, internet connection is giving problems. Very big problem. Yeah. It's uh, it's difficult. I was talking the other day about this. No sé con quién de ustedes hablaba el otro día de esto. About the, the, the internet connection, because I was explaining that I had problems with the presentation, do you remember? And it was the internet. We checked my computer and the computer is fine. But don't worry. We'll see, we'll see. It will get, it will come around. Oh, nice. Nice phrase. So let's see. I'm going to give you another phrase. It will come around. It will come around. Quiere decir como eh, se solucionará por sí solo. O se solventará. Okay. It will come around. That's like a modism. Esto es como un modismo. Because if you try to translate exactly the words, They won't make sense. Si usted trata de traducirlas, no van a tener sentido. Those are modism. That, actually, they do not make sense, but they do. Pareciera que no tienen sentido, pero lo tienen. In the language, in English, they belong just to English, and they are like, common, common happens. Son muy comunes. Okay, let's see. Well, first, how many, how much? Okay, okay. Andrea, tell me. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Mm, three sisters. I, I have. I have three sisters. No brothers? No brothers. Oh my God. Only sisters. Your dad must be with a big shotgun. El papá está con una escopeta. <laughs> yeah. Four ladies in the house my gosh i cannot imagine that no quiero ni imaginármelo yeah in my case i don't have those problems i just have one son so oh. okay let's see let's see so tell me uh, you told me that you have three sisters you are the youngest or the oldest? you are the Sorry. you are the youngest or the oldest Or the oldest. The oldest. Oh, you are like me. In my case, in my family, I am the oldest. Thank you very much, Andrea. Let's okay, see. Teacher. Fausto, what about you? How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have uh, three brothers. Okay. Just brothers? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's Only. interesting. Andrea, just four <laughs> sisters? Fausto, just four brothers. Mm, that's very interesting. That's kind of weird, actually. It's amazing. Good. So tell me, Fausto, are you the oldest or the youngest? I younger. Oh, I am the youngest. Okay. I am the younger. Oh, really? So tell me, how old is your oldest brother? What? How old is your oldest brother? ¿Cuántos años tiene su hermano mayor? Okay, um, 
43? Oh, he is yes. 43 years old. He is 43 years old. Okay, very interesting. So, he is 43, and you are? 33. 33. Oh, 10 years difference. Wow. Yes. <laughs> 33, oh man, you are so young, Tata Kobe. Nice, cool. Thank you, Falso. Okay. Yeah. Bueno. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Grecia, what about you, Grecia? How many brothers and sisters do you have? How many? ¿Cuántos brothers and sisters mm -hmm. do you have? Ok, pero debo iniciar con I have. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yes. Ok, eso es. Thank you. I have one brother and one sister. Oh, really? And you are the youngest yes. or the oldest? Oh, you are the youngest. Ah, that's no. why. I am the older. The oldest. Okay, so you are the, the angry one with the little one. No. But, okay. If you see, guys, thank you very much, Teresa. If you see, whenever I ask how many, I am asking about number, quantity. Okay? Recordemos, cuando uso el how many, estoy preguntando un número, una cantidad. In this case, I was asking about the family, the relatives, brothers and sisters. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Like if you ask me, hey teacher, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Oh, I can tell you. Oh, I have uh, two sisters and one brother. I am the oldest and my brother is the youngest. The girls are in the middle, okay? And there is something very interesting. When you say brother and sister, that's one word that encompasses both of them, and it's siblings. Siblings. Siblings mean hermanos y hermanas. That's the meaning of siblings. Okay? So, let's see. Now, hey, Andrea. Andrea, nice earphones. I like your Oh, earphones. thank you. Well, actually, these are not earphones. Walters are earphones because they get in. These ones, as uh, you put them on top of your head, these ones are headphones. So tell me, Andrea, how much are they? Oh, um, how much? How much? How much are uh -huh. earphones? Um, <laughs> thanks. Oh, they were free. <laughs> free. Okay, you can tell me they were they were a present. Okay, they were a present. They were a present. Yes, it's because somebody yeah. gave it to you. Good, excellent. Now, if you notice, I use thank you, Andrea. I use how much to ask for the price. Now let's see, Blanca. Hello, Blanca. Good evening. Hello, Blanca. Tell me, what is it there that you're drinking? What you drinking? Uh, it's water. It's water. Okay, tell me, how much water do you drink during the day? Um, I try to drink almost eight. Eight. Um, Cokes? I don't remember. Uh, vasos? Glasses. Glasses. Okay, excellent, excellent. So now you see, I ask Andrea how much, thank you, Blanca. I asked Andrea how much, asking about the price. And I ask Blanca how much, asking about something that is uncomfortable. Okay, the water, the water is uncomfortable, right? And if you remember, that was our topic yesterday. That's what we were working up with yesterday. Now, I am sorry, guys. I almost forgot. I need to get the attendance, the first attendance of the night. So let's see, let's see. Fausto, Antonio, 
Landa Verde. Present. Thank you. Carla María Los Guevara. Present. Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado. No. Eliani Alejandra Nativi. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales. Present teacher. Thank you. Soy la Noemí Córdoba de Valencia. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. No here, no here, no here. Okay, and Carlos Alberto Bautista Bonilla. Either. And Yesenia de Lourdes Magaña Sandoval. Present. Thank you, Yesenia. Jorge Alexander Reyes. No here, yet. Blanca Margarita Chávez. Present. Thank you. Felicita Cruz de Pereira. Present. Thank you. Grecia Yulisa Pereira de Villegas. Present. Thank you. Helen María Chávez Quintanilla. Present. Thanks. Francisco Javier Villatoro Canales. Present. Thank you. Alonso Antonio Present. Turcios. Present. Thanks. Andrea Natalie Espinal Umanzor. Present. Thank you. Claudia Susana Pérez. Not here. And Pedro Antonio Hernández. No here. Okay, okay. Let's see. Now let me just check. Let's see. Yes. I'm right. I'm sorry, guys. Now let's continue. So we were talking about the, the questions. Remember how much is used for prices, money, and for uncountable things. How many is used for something that you can count? Numbers, one, two, three, things that you can number. Cosas que usted puede enumerar. Things that you can number, remember. Now let's continue. Let's check a little bit about the book. We're going to check a little bit about the book. So let's see, we are, we are going to work in the book with page number 15. So I'm sorry, I need to mute everybody. Okay, thank you. Travers Inc. for a better future, dear employee. Now, this is a letter for the new employee, you see? Welcome to Travers Inc. Congratulations, you are now part of the Travers family. Here's some information about your new job. Please read it carefully. Name, Glenda Dominic Sanchez. Job title, Junior Sales Manager. Key job duties. Have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our products. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential client. Vacations to plus public holiday. Salary, $440 per month plus bonus. Good luck, Mark Travers, CFO. Now, questions about the vocabulary, guys? Any question? No? Okay. Let's check it out. Welcome. Welcome to Travers Inc. Congratulations. You are now part of the Travers family. Here's some information about your new job. Please read it carefully. Name Glenda Dominique Sanchez. Job title, junior sales manager, key job duties. Have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our products. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. Vacations. Two weeks per year plus public holiday. Salary. $440 per month plus bonus. Good luck, Mark Travers, CFO. Okay, let's see. We understand that that's a, like a welcoming letter, no? Entendemos que esa es una carta de bienvenida. That's a welcoming letter for somebody who is new at the company, right? What I want you to focus on is the 
the duties, los deberes, the obligations, okay? Because if you remember, we have been talking about the activities we perform in our workplace, right? Si se recuerdan, hemos estado hablando acerca de las actividades que hacemos en nuestro lugar de trabajo. Like, in my case, I tell you, okay, what are the activities I do in my workplace? Well, first of, first of all, uh, I have to prepare, uh, let's do it this way, so you can check it out. I'm sorry. We're going to do it on the board. This way is better. Oops. Okay, look, in my case, guys, uh, I have to plan classes. Oops. Classes every week. And I have to, I have to check homework. I have to teach English. And let me see, what else do I do? Uh, well, I have to, to prepare PowerPoint presentations, PPTs, okay? So these are like my obligations, the activities that I have to do every week. So you to plan classes every week. I have to check homeworks. I have to teach. And also I have to prepare PowerPoint presentations. So that's some of the activities I do. Now let's see, where are the meeting controls? Oh. Right here. So those are my activities. But now I am going to give you the opportunity to tell your classmates about that. If you remember, we did this exercise on the very first day. ¿Se recuerdan hicimos este ejercicio el primer día? That you were telling your classmates what is it that you do. But now the difference is this. Now I want you to state five of your obligations. Okay? Quiero que digan cinco de sus obligaciones. I want long answers. Quiero oraciones largas. Okay, because there's a difference between Monday and today. Hay una diferencia en estos tres, cuatro días. You've been practicing more, so you need like to be like back on track. Ya ahorita ya recordar un poco. You warm up already, so let's do it. I'll give you four minutes. Four minutes for that activity is enough. You are going to tell your classmate, and please, please, guys, take notes about your classmate because I want you to tell me about the other person. Yo le voy a preguntar de la otra persona. So take notes, right? Are you ready? Any question about the activity? Pregunta? No? Okay, let's do it. Let's jump in. Hurry up, hurry up. Remember, we just have four minutes for this activity. No, no sé. Hay que hacer cinco obligaciones, ¿va? Cinco obligaciones. Usted me dice las suyas y yo las mías. Yes, but in English, yes, yeah. Teacher, it's, it's very difficult English. Yes, I know, I know, but come on. It's what you do. That's easy. <laughs> you Remember, not like obligations. You are going to tell the activities you perform, okay? In my uh, job. Yes, my exactly. Job. Like, okay. like uh, in your job. Bye. I okay. have to, that's the main part of the, of the structure, remember. I have to. Yo tengo que, okay? That's like uh, the main I part. have to, I have to check the emails. 
Perfect. Excellent. I have to attend I, clients. Yes, that's right. That's what I want. I like to prepare a document. Prepare document. Prepare. Prepare. Voy a hacer una plana para que se me quede esa. Prepare, prepare, prepare. It's just practice. Teacher, y, yes? y when, cuando vayamos a hablar de la compañera, entonces yo digo, she has, has to, to prepare documents. Excellent. Ay, no anoté la tuya, dame la tuya. Hello, guys. Perdón, se... Bye, teacher. Remember, you are going to use I have to when you talk about yourself, but when you report your classmate, you're going to say he has to, or you're going to say she has to. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. okay. Hello, Miss. Oh, she's connecting. Hello. Is it still connecting your audio? Oh, yes. Now we are here. Let's see. Let's see. Hello, Noemi, and hello, Carlos. Uh, I already sent you the invitation for the new, for your group, for working, okay? Okay. Your classmates are going to explain you. Okay. ¿Le cayó la invitación, Noemi? Para unirse no. al grupo. No. Ok, entonces vamos a hacer algo. La voy a poner como que va en otro grupo. What about now? Yes. Please. Alonso, ahí tengo ah. las, las cinco actividades que yo a menudo acostumbro a hacer en el día. And checking mm -hmm. made to be emblem deep job. <coughs> On report. Dialogue debate supervisor delivery malls. Mm -hmm. Revines <coughs> specification for marking. No sé cómo se, se dice patrones o. Oh, la primera la primera palabra. Dialogue. Check? No, revise or checks. It would be checks. Check in May. Okay, now. Patrones. In, in your area, these are patterns. 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 Okay. In, your area, in your specific area, these are patterns. These okay? are patterns. Correct. Patterns. Correct. Perfect. Remember, when you... Is there me, yes, just remember, Walter, you are going to tell me about Alonso. Usted me va a decir la de Alonso in the main room. So you are going Ajá. to tell me, he has to, Okay. Es que aquí le acabo de anotar yo a Alonso las mías y él me va a anotar las de él aquí para Excellent. que yo las tenga. Great, great, great. Thank you, teacher. Great. Es made in the Hello, guys. Finish? Uh, three, teacher. Uh, ready? Three. Three. Okay, okay, okay. So that means that in 60 seconds, we're going to give them just one more minute, okay? Okay, okay. okay. So some groups are like, this is still hard. I have to. I have to. I have to. I have to. But remember, Eliani, when you tell me, you are going to tell me if you are, I'm going to ask you about Carlos or about Felicita. Yo le voy a preguntar a usted acerca de Carlos o de Felicita. So you will have to tell me. He has to, él tiene que, or she has to, ella tiene que, and then the obligation, okay? okay. One minute, one minute, one minute, guys. Hurry up. 60 segundos les quedan. Responsibly. 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 ¿Cómo sería puntual? 
punctual. 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 Okay, you still got one, got one minute. Todavía tienen un minuto, okay? Okay. Sorry, mister, no habíamos terminado, pero me salí por, por error. A mí me sacó también el teléfono. Oh, really? That's weird. En mi That's caso weird. fue por error que me salí. Yes. Yes. No, a mí se me trabó el teléfono. Yes. The internet is giving problems everywhere. And in some areas it is raining. Y en algunos lugares está lloviendo, they tell me. Yes. Like, who told me that it was raining? Let's see. Uh, Alonso. Alonso told me that it is raining in his house, right? Mm, para decir que aquí está nublado. A little, little bit. A little bit. No. In your okay. case, Eliani, you told me that it is cloudy. It is cloudy here. It is cloudy. It is cloudy here. Check in the chat. I texted it. Okay. It is cloudy here. Okay, cool. Now I like it. I got a lot of people. That's what I like. Me encanta cuando vemos varios. So we can do better the activities because you can listen to different people. So let's see, let's see, let's start. Let's make this fast. Blanca, tell me about, tell me two things that Yesenia has to do. Okay, Yesenia has to advise to internal and external customers. Okay, perfect. Another and one? She has to check the emails. Perfect, Yesenia, tell me about Blanca. Yesenia, I cannot hear you. Perdón, tenía en silencio. Blanca has, ya me di emocionado. Blanca has to check the emails. Blanca has to attend the clients. Blanca has to pre prepare. 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 prepare report. Blanca has to answer call. Okay, okay. Perfect. Just remember, prepare report. Okay, prepare report. Prepare report. report. And the other word, Listen carefully. Answer. 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 Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Excellent, ladies. Now, let's see. Let's see. Andrea. Andrea, please tell me about Fausto. Okay. Fausto has to prepare to purchase orders. Uh, has to check purchase orders, has to check emails constantly, has to enter purchase in the digital system. Okay, excellent. Very good. Very good sentences. You remember, purchase, purchase. Purchase. And the other word, you use long words, that's good. Constantly, constantly. Okay, remember the accent because we have to say it, I'm sorry, let's see, let's see, let's see. We have to say it like this, constantly, constantly. Okay, you hit the first word, constantly. constantly. Very well done. Excellent, excellent. Now let's see, Fausto, tell me about Noemi. Noemi has to answer the phone constantly. Okay. Um, has digit information in office system. Okay. Has to check the previous day's cash code. Excellent. Well done. Noemi, please tell me about Andrea's activities. Excuse me, teacher. You didn't do it. Uh -huh. Confused. You were just listening. Yes. Okay, that means that Fausto was telling me Andrea's activities, right? Yes. 
Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Now, Francisco, please tell me about Grecia. <laughs> Um, Grecia, in Grecia's job, she received huge documents. Many documents. Many documents. Teacher. Yes. Estábamos en esa disyuntiva con Grecia precisamente y, y Yes. Si Because, era yeah. many or much. Okay, remember. Uh, many because you Con. can count them. Usted lo puede contar. Many, muchos. She can tell, oh, I received a hundred documents today. Recibí 100 documentos este día. She can count those documents. Pueden ser contados. Ok. Ok. Estábamos en, en eso precisamente porque lo veíamos como incontable al ser una gran cantidad de documentos. Ok. In this case, the problem is this. You don't use much. You don't use much for affirmative. You use much in questions. Okay? okay? No usamos el much en afirmativas, lo usamos en preguntas. If you want to say that it was a big quantity, si quiere decir que era una cantidad y que no puede contarla, you say a lot of. Okay? Oh, okay. A lot of. That means okay. a, a big quantity. And you can use a lot of for countable and uncountable. Like I drink a lot of coffee. See? Yo tomo mucho café. Okay. And we cannot count coffee, yeah. right? I drink, I drink a lot of water. You cannot count water, right? And, oh man, right. I have, I have to prepare. Yesterday, I had to prepare a lot of classes. Ayer tuve que preparar a lot of classes, muchas clases. Oh, I can count them. I can count the classes that I prepared yesterday. Eso sí las puedo contar. You see? You use a lot for a big quantity of countable and uncountable. Okay. Thank you, Francisco. Very good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, 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 let's see. Now, uh, let's see. Francisco told me about Grecia. Grecia, tell me about Jorge. Hola. Okay. Sorry. But you have the information. No, of las mías. Just yours? Okay. Yes. Okay, no problem, no problem. Jorge, tell me. Tell me two activities you have to do in your job every day. Eh, usando much. No, no, no. Just tell me two activities you have to do. You have to tell me I have to. I, in my job, I... Eh, I have to... Tengo I que, have to... Calling. I have to make phone calls? To, phone calls. To make phone calls. Okay, what else? One more, one more. Um, in, my job, in my job, I check the uh, sales. Sales, yes. Sales. Ventas. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Carlos, Eliani, and Felicita. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Eliani, tell me about Felicita's work. Solo tengo dos porque me okay. salí. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I just need two. Don't worry. Felicita, hate to be punctually. Okay. okay. <laughs> You just told me, usted me can decir que ella odia ser puntual. Has to, no has hate to. to. Okay, has to. Felicita, be punctual, please, Felicita. Okay. <laughs> remember, remember, has to be has punctual. To. Felicita has to punctual. Has to be punctual. Has to be punctual. Okay, Feliz. Felicita has to res, have to the work responsibly. Okay, has to do her has job to. responsibly. Responsibly. Good, excellent. Thank you very much, Eliani. 
Carlos, tell me, do you have Eliani's information? Hey, teacher, I cannot uh, cry uh, about I... my partner. Okay. Because I go in, in the last second. Okay. In this case, you just gave me a nice phrase for your classmate. I, oh, oh I'm sorry. I couldn't, in past, no pude, I couldn't. I Stay couldn't. with me, I couldn't. Couldn't, oh, okay. Perfect, couldn't. In this case, in that word, I'm sorry, just give me a second, Carl. In that word, the letter L, la L, is not pronounced. I, I couldn't, couldn't. couldn't. I couldn't. Yes, like that. Remember, the letter L is not pronounced. La letra L no se pronuncia. I couldn't, no pude. So, tell me two of your activities, Carlos. Uh, in my class, my responsibility in my work is prepare reports, uh, get money for to pay tax in the customs. Okay. Customs. Uh, aduana? Yes, correct. Okay. Great. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, nice work for your classmate. Customs. Remember, customs is aduanas, right? Okay, very well, very well. Felicitat, please, you tell me about uh, Eliani. Uh, Eliani to work with quality. Eliana to work Oh, oh, Liana to work with responsibility. Okay, has to. Say with me, please, Felicita. Repeat after me. Eliani, uh, Eliani, Eliani has Eliani to work. Has to work. Responsibly. Responsibly. Respons responsibly. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Helen, tell me about Carla Marielos, please. Helen, tell me about Carla. I want to know. Carla has uh, uh, to make a lot of copies. Okay. Uh, Carla has. Uh, Carla has to do some uh, rainbow. Uh, oh, right Carla right has to make spring rings. Okay. Carla has to make prints. Uh, yeah, Carla has to do laminaciones. No sé cómo se dice. Uh, that's uh, plastification. Now, uh, remember. Plastification. Remember, Carla. for the newcomers, para los que de ring bound, anillado. Okay. Okay. That's not, that's not a very common word. Ring bound. Ring right? bound. Ring okay. bound. Ring bound. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Carla, please tell me about Helen. Helen has to check bills. She has to fill books. She has prepared. Statements. 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 Look at me. Look at me. Statements. Listen. S statements. 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 Okay. Okay. We are going to do something a little bit funny. Okay. I'm sorry. Vamos a hacer algo divertido. Your tongue. You put it. Imagine that these are your teeth. Imagine estos son sus dientes. Put your tongue on the down teeth. And then make this sound. Statements. 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 Perfect. Excellent. That's Statements. the correct sound. Very well done, Carla. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's see who else. Who else? Who else? I just have, oh, yeah, the last two. Alonso, please tell me about Walter. I want to know about Walter. Hello, teacher. You were working with Walter. Please tell me Walter's obligations, please. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, right now. 
Walter checks his emails to be able to follow up on reports. Okay, excellent. Now, uh, Walter reviewed of a specification for making. Yes. Making. Patrones, creo, no sé. Patterns. 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 Ah, you can say patterns. patterns or patterns. Okay. Patterns. Okay. For the ones who don't know the word, I'm sorry, just a minute, just a minute. Okay. For the ones who don't know the word, follow up means seguimiento. Okay. 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 Walter meeting with supervisors to plan production. Okay. Walter has to meet. Oh, okay. Walter has to meet uh, with supervisors to plan production. Excellent. Very well done. Now let's see, where is Walter? Oh, Walter, you are right there. Please, Walter, tell me about Alonso. Okay, teacher. Alonso, <clears throat> chat emails. Perfect. Alonso, write report every day. Alonso, to take the full <clears throat> call to authorities to payments. Authorize. Authorize. Authorize payments. 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 Thank you. Alonso made employer payroll payments. Payroll payments. Payroll payroll payments. Alonso married with Ares manager. Okay, excellent. Wow. wow, a lot of activities. Now let's see, let's see, but I have some newcomers here. Tengo algunos nuevos acá. Let's see, Wendy, hello, Wendy. Hi. Tell me, Wendy, two of your regular activities. Tell me, remember to use this phrase, I have to, because we're talking about obligations, okay? I have the class. I have to. I have to the class. I'm sorry? I have to the class. Okay, one more. Um, I have Si es preparar Prepare, prepare I reports. Have I report. have, uh -huh. Okay, remember, just remember, Wendy. Excellent, very well done, excellent. Just remember, guys, when you have the phrase, I have to, after to comes another verb, okay? Okay. Una frase, I have to, después del to viene otro verbo, right? So you told, okay. me, you told me, I have to prepare reports, okay? Excellent, okay. so you see, guys, it's very simple. Now let's go review again what were Dominique's activities. Do you remember that in the, in the manual appears Dominique's? So look, in her new job, these are her duties. She has a meeting with her manager every week. She has to get in contact with customers. She has to answer clients' questions about their product. She has to take orders on the telephone, and she has to call potential clients. So now tell me, these are true or false? Dominique speaks to clients in her new job, true or false? True. True. True, because she has to get in contact with customers, right? Now, her salary is $100 per week? False. 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 It's a little bit more, no? Now, Dominique gets a yearly yeah. vacation? True. True. Yes, she does. She has to work on holidays? False. False. Yes. False. She has False. vacations, the public holidays. Now, let's see. Okay, guys, we are going to go to the next part, but it's 9.02. And I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. As it is 9.02, I am going to do the, I need to do the attendance, to take the attendance again. 
So let's do it fast. Fausto Alonso, Fausto Antonio Landa Verde. Present. Carla María Los Guevara. Present. Mariela de Los Ángeles Alvarado. Let's see, do I have Mariela? No, 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 no. Okay. Now, uh, Carla de Acerculocho. Oh, here. Eliani Alejandra Nativi. Present. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales. Present. Soy la Noemí Córdoba de Valencia. Present. Thanks. Carlos Alberto Bautista Bonilla. Present. Thank you. Yesenia de Lourdes Magaña Sandoval. It's all about finance, finance uh, information on the world. Present. Thank Let's you. Start. Jorge so, Alexander Reyes Lopez. Let's start. Present. Thanks. How many there? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There's, uh, I am hearing somebody. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. And let's see. Blanca Margarita Chavez. Present. Felicita Cruz de Pereira. Present. Grecia Yulisa Pereira de Villegas. Present. Helen Maria Chavez Quintanilla. Present. Giovanni Vladimir Escamilla Gomez. Giovanni, do I have Giovanni here? Nope, Giovanni is not here, so. Okay. Oh, there was a mistake. Francisco Javier Villatoro Canales. Present. Alonso Antonio Turcio de Brizuela. Present. Rea Natalie Espinal. Present. Wendy Azucena Pérez. Present. Pedro Antonio Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you very much. So let me see, let me see. How many days? Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's continue, guys. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I want to ask you. Now. Okay, let's continue. Before before we get to the to the activity, I am sorry. I need to do this. Perdón por lo que voy a hacer, pero I will get everybody mute. Voy a silenciarlos a todos, ¿ok? Perdón, hago esta aclaración y la explico en español. Lo voy a silenciar porque voy a la parte de explicación. Entonces necesito que me oigan. Y si uno de ustedes está, tiene el micrófono abierto, es more difficult for the rest, ¿ok? I'm sorry, guys. Now, I'm going to show you a small PowerPoint presentation, ¿ok? This topic is in the book, but it's a little bit short in the book. Este tema se ve en el libro, pero bien cortito. And I'm going to expand it, okay? So, it's something easy, easy for you. Let me see. I have it right here. Okay. So, let's go to the, okay, we are right here. Let me see. Okay, my bad, right here. Okay, let's see, we are in class number four, WH questions. The WH questions are used to ask for specific information. What are the WH questions? Okay, those WH questions, they cannot be answered with a yes or no. They request for specific information. Then we have what? Look, we use what to ask about things. What do you need? I need a suit. You see, very simple. What does his sister like? She likes the red dress. In this case, I am asking what. When I ask what, remember, I am asking for information, right? What do you need? Necesitar. What does his sister like? Le gusta. Oh, she likes the red dress. I need a suit. What color? Simple. What color do you want? Blue. What color does Claire like? Yellow. What size? Okay, what size do they need? Oh, extra large. What size does Peter want? Small, we say Peter wants 
small size. Wish. We use wish to ask about choice. Okay. Which coat do you need? In this case, there are options. Okay. The brown one. Which pants does he want? Look, we have here the pants. He wants the gray ones. You see? Why? When we use why, we are asking for the reason. Por qué? Okay? We answer these questions with because. Why do you like this sweater? Why do you like this sweater? Oh, because it is new. Why does your friend like those sneakers? Why does your friend like those sneakers? Oh, because they are cheap. Simple, because they are cheap. Okay, to form WH questions, we use WH word, do or does, plus a subject, plus the base form. Remember that I told you, the WH word, what? Do or does is an auxiliary. Let me see you. ¿Qué significa? Nothing. It just tells us that the verb is in present. No dice que el verbo está en presente. Then we have the subject and then we have the base form. Le dije que cuando el verbo no estaba conjugado, base form. In this case, the verb is in the base form because we have the auxiliary. Right? Which sweater does she need? Which sweater does she need? Okay. Now, form, remember the use of do and does. Okay, in this case, what do? When do we use do? Cuando usamos do? Oh, we use do when we are talking about I, you, we, and they. What do I need? What do you need? What do we need? What do they need? Remember, we use do when we talk about these persons. If you are talking about I, you, we, or they. In those cases, I use do. Remember, do is the auxiliary. You see, what do I need? Now, when do we use does? Oh, simple. We use does, you will see here, when we are talking about he, she, or it. In this situation, this when we use does. So let's practice. Look at these three questions. Where do you work? What do you do in your company? What time do you finish working? We have these three questions for you to ask each other. Okay? So let me see, guys. I'm going to take a picture of the questions and we are going to ask these questions each other, but it's going to be a little bit different. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just give me a second that I did something bad on the phone. I just need to get rid of this. Perfect, and write this. Like this is better. Okay, okay. Okay, now, now, now. You have questions right now in the, in the group. Now, choose one of them questions. One of them questions, right? Escoja una, pick one. Okay, you ready? Listos? Today we are going to make it a little bit different. Now, Grecia, thank you. You open up your microphone. Usted me abrió el micrófono, you are the first. So, Grecia, please, okay. the, the question you choose, ask it to Eliani. Pregúntasela a Eliani. Okay. Eliani, good evening. Where do you work, Eliani? Good evening. Uh, I work for. I work for. Um, John Guam El Salvador. Excellent. Now, Eliani, choose okay. any of your classmates. Okay. Escoja uno de sus compañeros. Thank you, Gracie. Helen. 
Helen, Helen is your victim. Okay, Helen, I'm sorry. Please, Eliani, ask her one question. What do you work, Helen? Uh, I work in San Miguel. Okay, where, where? Ah, She's asking I... you the company. Perdón. Le está preguntando la compañía. Ah, en la compañía. Este, um, I work for. I work for um, co accounts, contabilidad, office, office. Okay. Account. Okay, an accountant office. Accountant offices. Perfect. Now, Helen, choose one of the questions, one of the two questions. Escojo una de las tres preguntas. And pick one of your classmates. Who are you going to ask? ¿A quién va a preguntar? Um, Carlos Alberto. Okay, Carlos Alberto, please. Uh, what time do you miss work, working? Uh, hello, I finished working at uh, five, half. Five thirty, five thirty. Five thirty. PM. PM, correct, PM. Perfect, thank you very much, Helen. Carlos, who's going to be your partner in this? Este, Fausto, Fausto Antonio. Okay, Fausto, you ready? Please, Carlos, ask him. Yes. What do you do in the company? <laughs> Ooh. Um, I have... Okay. Uh, I have to uh, prepare purchase order um, and check purchase order and, and uh, check uh, email okay, uh, okay. constantly. Constantly. Perfect. Thank you very much. Fausto, who's going to be your big team? Please, just one. Um, Carla Marielov. Okay, Carla, I'm sorry. Okay, Carla's ready, Fausto, please um, ask her. Carla, Carla, uh, where do you work? The easy one. I work for library, El Nuevo Siglo. Okay, perfect, that's it. Carla, one question for one of your classmates. Who's it gonna be? I can never preguntar. Quiero ver. Uh, Blanca Margarita. Okay, just remember. Quiero ver. Let me see. Look in the chat. Let me see. La frase que usted dijo. Quiero ver. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, please ask Blanca. Blanca is ready. Let me see. Let me see. Where do you work? Ah, the easy one. I work for Morris Motor City. Okay. What? Where do you work, Blanca? Motor City. Oh, really? Cool. That's good to know. Now, Blanca, please. Who's <laughs> going to be your victim? Um, let me see. Alexander. 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 Oh, Alexander. Alexander. Hi. Oh, Jorge. Jorge Alexander. I'm sorry. I just got Jorge the first name. Please ask Jorge the question. Uh, me perdí. Blanca is. Yo le voy a... Yes, yes. Where do you work, Jorge? Uh, in my work, I... Uh, where, where, say. donde? Huh? Where means donde. Where? Ah, I job in uh, Credit City. I, I work, work for, for... I work for Credit City. I work for Credit City. Okay, thank you very much. The rest of you got saved by the bell. El resto de ustedes se salvaron. Because of the time, I need to jump to another activity. So some of you are like, okay, but don't worry. 
sorry, we have another activity to practice. Okay, guys, now we are going to do the, the, uh, the pronunciation practice, okay? But before we do the pronunciation practice, I need to ask these questions. Okay. okay. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Andrea, tell me, how many days a week do you work? Repeat, teacher, please. How many days a week do you work? Um, five. Okay, long answer, please. Uh, I work. I work for five. Days. I work five days. A day. I Remember. work five days. Five days a week. I work five I work days. Five days a week. Okay, okay, good. So when do you rest? Weekends? On weekends you don't work. Saturday and Sunday you do not work, right? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. those are weekends. Weekends is are Saturday and Sunday. Thank you, Andrea. What about you, Blanca? How many days a week do you work? I work at six days of the week. Okay, perfect, excellent. Just remember, in this case, no at. I work six days a week. Perfect. Okay. So let's see, thank you, thank you. Grecia, what about you? Tell me, how many days a week do you work? I work six days. A week. A week. Perfect, excellent, excellent. What about you, Fausto? Tell me, what's your case? Uh, I work five days uh, oh. a week. Wow, the same as who else was here who worked just five days? Mm. Natalie. <laughs> Natalie, Natalie, right, you are right. Excellent, excellent. Yes, it's true. Natalie works five days a week. Excellent, very well done. Now, we are going to do the pronunciation practice, okay? Do you remember that in the manual, in your manual, you have a conversation for page number 16. And according to our class, we are going to do the pronunciation. But remember how we do the pronunciation. The first time I am going to read and you just listen. You are not going to see any text. Just listen, okay? Now, the text goes like this. The conversation that we are going to work goes like this. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days do you work? Hey Ben, well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work for weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Now remember, as we have been doing all the classes, we're going to listen and read. I'm going to share with you the page from the manual so we can check it out. Okay. Right now you are going to listen to me, read the conversation, and then we are going to do the practice. So we have here, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey Ben, well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Now, guys, 
Again, listen and read. I'm going to read a little bit faster. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Any question about the vocabulary, guys? No? Okay, perfect. Remember, how many when we use it for countable, okay? And how much we use it for money or for things that are uncountable. Now, what we are going to do is the practice, right? So, are you ready for the practice? Remember, now it's going to be a little bit different because the very first days we've been like just reading. Now I need to feel emotion. This type of activity is called role play. Role play, okay? So you have to play a role. You have to put emotion into it. I'm going to divide you in the breakout rooms. You are just going to have two minutes. That's all. Two minutes for practicing. Switch roles, okay? Two minutes for you to practice it. So let's see. Remember, uh, I'm sorry. Remember the text is and i'm going to send you the picture of the text for the ones who don't have it ready remember that the text is in page 16 is exercise 2 from your manual okay so if you don't have it handy you got it right there so let's do it right now fast fast just two minutes for the activity so let me just create the groups uh, the breakout rooms i'm going to recreate all of them because i got too much people now. And okay, guys, go there. Hurry up, hurry up. Two minutes, two minutes, starting now. Jump in. Eliani, what happened? Me sacó, yo creo que es el internet. Okay, I will send you another group, okay? Le voy a enviar okay. otro grupo. Thank you. Thank you, Flor. Oops. I'm sorry, Flor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No se preocupe. Eh, aprovecho este espacio. Buenas noches. Gracias por el acceso. Una consultita. Eh, ¿Su nombre cuál es? Perdón. Douglas Arevalo. Ah, ¿Hubo algún cambio de facilitador para ese grupo? Uh, no. Porque yo estoy revisando la documentación y me aparece el nombre de Silvia Maricela Ramos. Pues no, yo inicié con ellos desde el día lunes. Ajá, sí, porque empezamos el 9, ¿verdad? Sí. Y esta es la orden 56. Ay, si no estoy de no, todo ajá, lo seguro. No, vaya. No, 65, es la orden 65. Voy a hacer referencia en mi informe a eso porque eh, seguramente hicieron el trámite, ¿verdad? Pero la documentación no está registrada, entonces para que puedan actualizarla. Voy a estar observando un ratito. Muchísimas gracias. No problem, no problem. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Ok, we're going back.
60 seconds. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. We're just waiting, just a second, guys, just a second. Okay, let's check it out, let's check it out. Who's still there? There's still Grecia, I need her to come out. Felicita. Okay, everybody's almost back. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. And just let me do just a little something here. Uh, okay. Okay, guys. Right now, to do the practice. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. And who's gonna be first? Who's gonna be first? Let's see. Mm. Yes, Eliani, you are the first in my screen. So, you. Let me see, who was your partner, Eliani? You were working with two persons, Carlos and Fausto. Please, Eliani, choose. You pick who? Carlos uh, or Carlos. Fausto? Oh, look, Fausto, she doesn't want to work with you. I wonder why. <laughs> okay, let's do it, let's do it. Hurry up, hurry up. Do you want me to share the screen? Okay, yes. hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to share it with you guys. Okay, who starts? Okay, Eliani, you are Ben. Okay, Eliani, oh, you start. Okay. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hi Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work for weekday and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hour when there is too much work, work to do. Each extra hours is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Perfect, guys. Very well done. Excellent, excellent. Just remember, that's great. That's great. Okay? And that's great. Absolutely. 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 Now, 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 let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's gonna be next? Who's gonna be next? Because I have, um, let's see, guys. Let me check, let me check, let me check. It was Eliani. Now, okay, who is sharing, guys? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, let's do it like this. Now, next one. Who's gonna be next one? Who wants to be next one? Thank you, Andrea. You look like, yes, I want to be next. So you are next, Andrea. Who's your partner, Andrea? Uh, my partner is Francisco Javier. Okay, Francisco, you ready? Yeah. Okay, Francisco, you are Ben. Okay. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week, and you? That's great. I I work for uh, weekdays. No se ve bien. No weekdays. Okay. I work I, for weekdays. Okay, I work for weekdays, and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes. I work, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. 
Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Well done. Just remember, mosh, mosh. Okay? Mosh, how mosh? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, let's see, let's see who's going to be next. Next one, next one, next one. Felicita, please. You have Carla and Pedro. Juan, please. Felicita, I'm sorry. Yes. Open your microphone. So, Felicita. Yes. How are, how, how are you microphone. going? I'm sorry. I Carla. want to ask. Hello? Okay. Perfect. 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 So, let's do it. I'm Party. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's do it. So, Carla, you are Jeff and Felicita. You are Ben. Okay. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben, Will, I work five days a week and you? That's great. I work for weekday and Sunday on Saturday. Really? On Saturday, do you work extra hours and how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hour when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, perfect, ladies. Absolutely. Well done. Just remember, how many? How many? Doing. How many? How many? Doing. Okay. Doing. And really? 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 Okay, guys. Now, I have been noticing something, and we are going to fix it right now, in this moment. Because I have noticed something. Uh, okay, we are going to work. Before we continue with the exercise, I need something to be uh, very, very clear. And that little something is the pronunciation of the word, of the letter, I'm sorry, of the letter R. Okay? Now, how to pronounce the letter R is very easy. This is your tongue. Okay, our tongue goes like this in our mouth. And I'm sorry. Our tongue goes like this in our mouth, right? So imagine that you have your tongue and you twist it, goes back. So make the sound with me. Really, really, R, R. So remember, when you make the sound of the letter R, your tongue goes like this. Really, R, hard. Okay, great. Look, the tongue goes back. Great, R. Perfect, let's continue, let's continue because we are running against time. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Just let me close this right here. And who's gonna be next? Okay, Wendy, Wendy, you have not participated today. Please, Wendy, you and Blanca, ready? Ready. Let's do it. Wendy, you are Ben, you start. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Jeff, how how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hi, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weeks days and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? 
on Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hours? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Well done. Just remember, is, is, and with this word, money, money. Okay. Okay, okay, very well done, very well done. Something that I need you guys, everybody, to please pay close attention because we have been working with how many and how much. Something that I need you to pay very much attention is this. Look, in this case, the question is a yes, no question. You see, do you work extra hours? Do you remember the structure, the auxiliary, the subject, the verb in the base form? right you see do you work extra hours in this case this question was a yes no question that's why the answer is yes i work extra hours yes fausto tell me teacher douglas uh, i have a question yes. why in the questions how are you doing just doing how are you doing Okay. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. Perfect. That question is a very, uh, is a little bit informal, okay? Actually, when some people, some people, not everybody, some people will pronounce it like, how are you doing? You see? Very informal. So, how are you doing, Fausto? Oh, we are friends. We are good friends, okay? I come and ask you, hey, Fausto, how are you doing, man? Informal. Okay, it will be like, hey Fausto, good morning, how are you? Formal. Is it clear now? Yes, thank you. Perfect. Something else that I need you to remember, guys, and I'm going to send you this in the chat from the Zoom, is this. When we talk about extra hours, there's another, a different way to say it, but it's exactly the same. And the other way is this. You can say, instead of saying extra hours, you can say overtime, okay? That's another way to say extra hours. That means that I finish working at 5 p.m., okay? Imagine that you finish working at 5 p.m. and your boss comes and tells you, hey, Carlos, stay two more hours can you and carlos said oh yeah more money yes i can so those two extra hours are extra hours or overtime both words are the same okay now let's review a little bit of the presentation that i show you because i need you to remember the option this remember and you could see it in the you could see it in the, 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 the text we were working with. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, now, remember that to form the WH questions, we use the WH word plus do or does, plus the Teacher. subject, yes? What the meaning, hold on. I'm sorry? What the meaning, hold on. Hold on. Well, where's yeah. that? Where's that? I'm sorry. What is it? Uh, Lo que dice usted continuamente. Uh, um, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh. Yes, yes, I'm Esperen. sorry, I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, yes. Hold on. Right. Hold on. Okay. Hold, hold on. on. Hold on means, wait a minute. Wow. Uh -huh. That's hold on. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, thanks. No, it's good when you ask me. Remember, I told you, whenever you ask, it's good. So let's continue, let's continue. We were doing the small review that I told you about. Okay, remember, we have to form the WH question, we use the WH word plus do or does plus a subject plus the base form, okay? In this case, 
how much and how many can be considered a WH word? How many hours, you see, how many hours do you work? Or how many days do you work during the week? You see, it's the WH word. The other aspect that I need you to be careful with is the usage of do and does, okay? Remember, we have what do, and we use the do when we are talking about I, B, and they. What do I need? What do you need? What do we need? What do they need? You see? Now, we have does. What does? When do we use does? Oh, we use it when we are talking about he, she, and it. What does he need? What does she need? What does it need? Okay, guys. Now, any question up to here? Any question about the structure? No? Okay, perfect. Now, the last, the last review. Remember, this is something that we were working on yesterday, but we are still working on it. We were working with the simple present and also the use of how many and how much. Remember, guys, we use how many for countable nouns, hours, days, weeks, years, etc. How many days a week do you rest? How many hours a day do you work? We use how much for uncountable nouns, money, time, etc. How much money do they pay per extra hour? How much time do we have? Okay. Example could be like this. Look, let's see. Let's see who's gonna help me right now, right here. Um, hmm, I'm missing somebody. No, Andrea. Please remember to open your cameras, guys. I need to see you. Andrea, hello, Andrea. Help me. Where's Andrea? Oh, right there. Andrea, tell me what time is it? Um. A uh, quarter to ten. Okay, a quarter, a quarter. A quarter to ten. Perfect. So, how much time do we have for the class? How much time of class do we still have? Remember, thank you, Andreas. Thank you, thank you. Just like okay, that. Okay. So, if you notice, she told me, oh, it's a quarter to 10. Okay, and I asked her, how much time? As I'm talking about the time, and time by itself is dia. Okay, we do not count the time. We count the minutes, right? Like in this case, let's see, let's see. Blanca, tell me. Tell me, Blanca, how, okay. much, how much water do I have? How much? It's the... A lot or a little? A lot. Yeah, I have, I have drunk just a little bit tonight. You see? Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, who else is here who can help me? Uh, man, I got a lot of people. Eliani, tell me. Hello, Eliani. You here? Hello. Okay, Eliani, tell me, how much coffee do you drink during the day? Um, how much coffee do you drink? A lot? Uh, a little bit. A lot or lot. a little bit? A lot. Okay, you drink a lot. What is a lot? How okay. many cups? Okay, now, yes, yes. Now, Tell me, Eliani, how many cups of coffee do you drink during the day? I drink three cups of coffee. Come on, Eliani, three cups of coffee. That's not a lot. For me, a lot is like nine or ten. But excellent, excellent answers. Now, Carlos, tell me. Hello, Carlos. Hello. Do you like drinking soda? Not much. Not much? Oh, 
perfect answer. You see, in this case, he's telling me that he likes soda, but not big quantities. He told me not much. Answer. Now tell me, Carlos, how much soda do you drink during a week? A week. Oh, I'm two. sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I made I made that question wrong. Let me restate the question. How many how many cans? How many cans of soda do you drink during a week? Yeah, I drink two or three cans. Okay. Yeah. That's not much. That's just a little bit. Thank you very much, Carlos. Hey. Grecia. Hello, Grecia. Hello, mister. Okay, tell me, Grecia. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you have two brothers, right? One brother and one yeah, sister? Yeah, right. Okay, tell me, Grecia. Yeah. How much, how much did you, in the past, how much did you fight with your brothers? Um, no, no. <laughs> a lot or a little? Uh, okay, a little. Okay, a little. You see, we are using a lot, a little. Thank you very much, Grecia. Blanca, hello, Blanca. Hello. Tell me, Blanca, do you like drinking milk? Yes, I like. Okay, tell me. How much milk do you drink? Um, a little. A little, a little milk okay. during the day. Okay, how many glasses of milk do you drink during a week? Um, I drink three glasses during of the week. During the week, perfect. During the week. Thank you. Jorge. Hello, Jorge. No. Okay, Jorge, what about you, mister? Tell me, uh, do you like drinking coffee? No, 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 I will restate that question. Tell me, Jorge, do you like eating pupusas? Yes, okay. I like. Tell me, how much do you like eating pupusas? I... If I ask you, remember, Jorge, if I ask you, how much I'm asking you if it's a lot or just a little? A lot. Okay. Tell me, Jorge, how many pupusas can you eat? I eat uh, five pupusas. Five. Wow. Yes, you like them a lot. Yes. That's nice. That's nice. That's a healthy man. Thank you very much, Jorge. Yeah. Okay, let's see, let's see who's being quiet today. Noemi, hello, Noemi. You're very quiet. Hello, Tisha. Okay, Noemi, tell me, do you like sleeping? Oops, I think she's having problems with connection. Don't worry, Noemi. Yes, I like to. You like sleeping, perfect. Tell me, how much do you like sleeping? How many hours, listen, how many hours do you sleep? In this case, she needs to answer to me telling me, I sleep, you can say I the sleep Hello? Yes, yes, yes. Six, on, six or seven hours. Oh, come on, that's not a lot. Okay, you can tell me I sleep around six or seven hours. You see? Like, listen, Noemi, like in my case, uh, you know what? I don't sleep that much. Like, last night, let me see, I went to sleep around two, so, uh, and I woke up today around... 6 30 so i slept two three four five six i slept four hours so i slept for four hours listen i slept for four hours check out the pronunciation okay 
or I can tell you if I am not exact with the time, I tell you, oh, I slept around four or five hours. I am not exact. Thank you, Noemi. Perfect. Well done. Well done. Okay, guys. Up to now. Any questions? Are we cool? Everything clear? Yes? Yes. No problems? Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Again, let's make a small review, guys, because for tomorrow, we are going to still going to be working with many and much, but we are going to be doing exercises, okay? So, right now, I have an activity for you to do. Remember that you need to work in the platform. That's mandatory. But for tomorrow, I need you, and I will, uh, let me see, I will do it right here so you can check it out. Okay. For tomorrow, I need you to think about three things you like. Three things, I mean three activities or three types of pool, and three things Again, food, activities, objects, you do not like, okay? That's the activity for tomorrow. You need to bring it for the class because we are going to use this information for a practice, okay? Remember, three things you like and three you do not like. That's for tomorrow because we are going to use it as part of the practice, okay? Just give me a second, please. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hmm. Let me see, let me see where did Tiku So, any question up to now? Preguntas, questions? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Are we cool? We clear? Yes? Now, guys, I got the question for you. I got an extra question for you. Do something. Whenever there's, whenever there's a problem like that, we are going to do something. You let me know and in that exact moment, I will send you the picture, okay? So you can have it there, the whole group. Cuando nos pase eso, okay. me avisan y en el momento yo les mando la, la screen capture, okay? Les mando la captura de pantalla okay. so you can have it. Because okay. I have it completely clear. No problem, no problem. Okay. We can fix that. No. Okay, it's thank you, it's solved. No problem, excellent. Guys, I really congratulate you for your activity today. Something very good that you are doing is that when you are doing the role play, everybody, all of you, you are getting just the pronunciation. You are also getting the intonation, okay? That's different. You're getting the pronunciation and the intonation. When we talk about the intonation, that means that you are getting the rhythm of the English. If you notice the rhythm, the even the accent changed a little bit when I'm speaking in the different language. Aún el no solamente el ritmo, sino también el acento cambia un poco cuando hablamos en otro idioma. And that's normal. And I can tell that most of you right now are changing into that. And that's excellent. So remember, the only way we are going to do this and get better is through practice. Okay, now, this is uh, something official. Remember, tomorrow, is Friday. Tomorrow you need to have finished, guys, this section one at least with the from the platform. Okay. I tell you because remember that on Friday, on Saturday, I'm sorry, Saturday morning, I have to upload all your grades. So please, if you have any problem 
accessing the platform or doing the exercises, let me know, okay? I can help you or in the case I cannot help you, I can contact the person in charge who can be helping you. Like today somebody sent me the message and I contacted the person and they told me that they were already working on it. So whenever you have a problem with the platform, let me know. And if it's about an exercise, of course, I am here to help you. So guys, let's make just a short review. Remember, when we are making questions, we have two types of questions. WH questions, those are information questions. Like, where do you work? Where do you live? What do you do? In those cases, I am asking for specific information. It's different when I ask you, hey, do you like drinking coffee? You tell me, oh, yes, I do. Or you tell me, no, I don't. You see? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Those are yes, no questions. Those questions you just answer with yes or no. Simple. But the WH questions are information. The case of how much and how many. Okay? So that's just a small review. Hey, guys, it's almost time. I just want to thank all of you. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Rest. Good night. Bye. Yeah, tomorrow. Thank you. Good night, sir. Good night, Good night. everybody. Bye. Bye.